Hello everyone and welcome to a quick overview of the newer uh, WPL uh, B24 model and yes I did it again I do have a WPL uh, B model but I really had to uh, get the B24 model and there is also WPL C model and they are driving me nuts with uh, their uh, trucks uh, not because they are uh, somehow uh, good when it comes to performance or build quality but they absolutely look stunning and you can mod the hell out of them and you can transform them into real hobby grade and realistic look so you can get the boast of uh, uh, this hobby and you have a good if you can call it a good chassis to start from because the body the design looks uh, very nice and uh, it can uh, serve as a base for your project and this is the model uh, it uses the same uh, type of plastic that it's used on the other model uh, it uses the same uh, metal brace chassis with the same uh, brushed motor and the same transmission which uses a way too steep angle because you can see these things it's absolutely at the limit it's uh, it, it has a angle that exceeds normality here and you can see that it forces uh, and that's not good and also as you can uh, see here the rear differential actually is not even held together as it should the screws are not tight enough for the cap the rear cap and the front cap of the differential do not mate with the differential shaft here with this big shaft and case and it has some play inside because of that as you can see I can move the gears uh, and that's not really normal but this is the quality you get at this price you actually buy the design of the car not the quality of the car and this must really be modded to get it into good shape and need some attention so let's see uh, the battery should be under here and the cabin will go like that like on some real trucks and of course it uses uh, NICAD battery uh, a 6 volt NICAD battery uh, 700 milliamps that sits on this tray here and inside you do get a nice interior which somehow came off its normal place because it was pushed by the battery or something like that so I need to sort that out and the spare tire here it's a real spare tire, it's not a design spare tire, that is nice also you get the motor wire going through here that can be put in the transmission shaft, in the prop shaft of course it does not have a real servo, it's a click to push servo type thing uh, but uh, the good thing is that actually it has a space and the, uh, uh, position and uh, the fixture of a real servo so you can take this uh, thing I'm not going to call it uh, bad this thing out and replace it with a real servo of course you are going to need another receiver uh, if you want proportional steering because uh, this does not use uh, directional steering it only has maximum left maximum right it's a click steering but it does have proportional throttle which is nice but i don't know why they didn't put a servo here and sort that out it would have been a real uh, value increase of the car in the back you also get a extra set of leaf springs uh, the side mirrors for the car which are not assembled because uh, they will probably break or get lost in transport you do get this hose here where you are going to plug in the um, 
mirrors and it comes with a simple USB charger uh, that will charge the NICAD battery right so let's see if this thing powers on and it should go something like that let me see can I sort this out now or not not now some other time right then if I power it on it has a power button here it does have working headlamps but it does not have any kind of tail lamps they are just designed I need to install some batteries here and I'm going to power on the transmitter and there is that incredible noisy motor for steering and when it's on full lock it actually does more sound, not sound, noise than the running motor the running motor is actually nice or the ESC because you can go real slow you have very good control for uh, throttle and it has very good precision you can go slow or fast but the steering is killing me only with this noise so definitely that's the first mod to do get rid of the toy transmitter and the toy receiver and the toy ESC and replace them with the hobby grade uh, receiver use a programmable transmitter and use the same receiver on all this series of cars to save costs so you are going to use only one transmitter to multiple cars and then you can play with adding servo maybe another ESC changing to a more powerful motor and things like that sorting out the differentials like taking them apart mating the surfaces and adding grease inside will definitely improve this car a lot last but not least here is a quick comparison so they have the same uh, wheelbase uh, roughly the same uh, length uh, this one is a bit wider at design but the wheels are the same so it's only uh, the body a bit different and I do like both they do look great they do have nice details that you can start to work uh, a bit and I didn't secure the cabin but there's no worry it's now secured and properly seated it won't happen again I promise so on underneath the car it's the same chassis the same transmission the same motor the same suspension and the same weird uh, thing that replaces a normal servo uh, I do notice something this one is taller and has a bit more travel to the suspension while this one is stiffer and has less travel although the suspension is the same probably it's related to the weight of the product this one weights a bit more than this one but that's uh, actually the same car it's only the plastic that weights they even use the same batteries same transmitter same ESC so it's the same car so what I need now is probably to get the C model until then be sure to follow my next uploads I do hope to take uh, some uh, new videos with them I did promise of modding this and doing some videos with it but I didn't have the time to do it now with having two of these maybe I will start modding at least one of them to add the servo and to show you what things can be done on a tight budget and quickly without uh, throwing yourself into uh, too many trouble or spending too much until then bye bye